The interface of the Books app for Mac varies quite a bit from the iOS version. First, notice that there's no Reading Now section here on the Mac. There are three main tabs at the top of the window for our library, the Apple Bookstore for text-based books, and the Apple Audiobook Store. Each of these tabs is broken into sections that are displayed in the sidebar. While in the Library tab, we can switch the view in any section from thumbnails to a list. In the upper right of the window is a search field. The search term entered here will perform these searches in whichever tab is currently selected. This is unlike the iOS app, which will display results from your library as well as the Apple bookstores in any search. The library is broken down into six sections. All Books, which displays every ebook, audiobook, and PDF in the library. And then from there, we can view only ebooks or text based books, only audiobooks, and only PDFs. The Authors and Categories sections provide alternative views and breakdowns of the library. These also include all ebooks, audiobooks, and PDFs. Also in the sidebar are custom collections. The two here were added in the Books for iOS section and synced to the Mac via iCloud. The Mac app is also different when it comes to reading a book. Double-clicking on a book opens it in a new window. Close the book window and the main window will return. We can also get back to this main window by just clicking the library button here. Doing this keeps the book open. On a Mac, we can have multiple books open at once. This can be really helpful if you're researching a single topic covered by multiple books or PDFs. Just remember to return to the library with the library button and then open the other book or books. Next up, we'll look at using the bookstores to add to our library.